You're watching BTV. With few new copper mines coming online in an escalating demand environment, is a great time to be an emerging lower risk copper developer. That's especially true if you're located on private land in Arizona, which produced over 70% of the U.S. domestic copper supply in 2022. And that's where the Arizona Sonoran Copper Company is active at its Cactus Mine Project, a brownfield property that checks a lot of boxes. Initially, when I did my analysis on this project, I saw that it had very few obstacles to first production. Uh, given that it was a former producing mine, uh, it came with uh, water rights to the year 2070. It has uh, access to water in the ground in a natural aquifer. Uh, there's a main power line that runs right through the property. Uh, we have road and rail infrastructure immediately on our southern border. And very importantly, uh, the city of Casa Grande, which is only five kilometers to the east, gives us a very strong social license and uh, would like to see the mine come back into production. While the existing infrastructure provides a huge advantage, it's the property's resource that's most impressive. 5.2 billion pounds of copper in the measured and indicated category and 2.2 billion inferred. In addition to these promising resource numbers, Arizona Sonoran's new pre-feasibility study declares 3 billion pounds of reserve to calculate a 21-year mine life. Arizona Sonoran study shows first quartile capital intensity to build a 55,000 tons per annum heap leach, an SXEW operation. I think the key with the recent PFS is that it, it it brings scale to the to the to the opportunity. I think it's 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 well regarded as, as a very robust project, um, but now it checks an additional box, which is critical scale that you also need to really get investors interested to drive the market forward. The company may have their much-awaited oxide-focused pre-feasibility study in hand, but they have no intention of slowing down. We currently have three drills which are operational at the site. Uh, those will continue to drill a property called Mainspring, which uh, is not included in this pre-feasibility study. But our goal would be to bring that into an updated PFS sometime before the end of the year. And of course, uh, we're still drilling a metallurgical core, uh, which ultimately will be handed over to Newton. Newton is part of the mining giant Rio Tinto's copper division that has developed a new copper sulfite leaching technology. Newton is working with the company to test the leachability of the cactus primary sulfites. If successful, Arizona Sonoran may be able to gain access to pounds that are excluded from the recent pre-feasibility study. It's a bio-leach operation which really allows us to extract ore from the primary sulfide. It's a part of our ore body that exists today that we just can't extract economically based on the existing technology, but with their technology, we can bring to life that primary sulfide uh, through this bio-leach process and add materially to the, the life of the asset. All of this work to date is only the beginning of an ambitious journey forward for the company. Our ultimate goal here is to move this into commercial production and grow a solid mid-tier mining company out of the heartland of the Arizona Copper Belt. We've had tremendous success organically growing the company. We're going to continue to focus on that organic growth. With the pre-feasibility study now released and the next study already underway, this promises to be a transformative year for Arizona Sonoran.